Hello everyone, welcome to IT Expert System YouTube channel. Today we'll see how does QA prepared test plan. Let us understand what is test plan. A test plan is document describing the scope, approach, objectives, resources, and schedule of a software testing effort. It is the document that outline what, when, how, who and many more of testing project. The test plan serves as a blueprint to conduct software testing activities as a defined process, which is minutely monitored and controlled by the test manager. Why do we need to invest time in test plan? So here are some other reasons why you need to invest time in test planning. To set clear goals, expectations, and requirements for the testing process. By participating in test planning with your QA team, you will understand what to expect from your cooperation. To get better control over the testing process. During test planning, you will define what kinds of reports you want to get and how often. For example, it might be convenient for you to get a weekly report via email. Discuss this with your QA team to keep up with the testing process. To clarify the time, effort, and expenses needed to test your product. Before actually testing your product, your QA team will estimate the scope of work and then divide it into smaller milestones. This approach allows a QA team to estimate the time needed for testing, set realistic deadlines, and calculate the cost. What happens when there is no test plan? Misunderstandings about roles and responsibilities. Test team will have not so clear test objectives. No surety about when the test process ends. Undefined test scope misleads testers and users. Let us see how to create test plan step by step in details. Step 1. Analyze the product. Research clients and the end users to know their needs and expectations from the application. Who will use the website? What is it used for? How will it work? What is software hardware the product uses? Step 2. Develop the strategy. Test strategy means how you are going to test the application. You need to mention the exact process slash strategy that you are going to follow when you will get the application for testing. A test strategy document is a high-level document, which is usually developed by test manager. This document defines the project's testing objectives and the means to achieve them. Determines testing effort and costs. Let us understand how test strategy works in deeply. First, define scope of testing. QA team should create list of all the hardware, software, and middleware you want your product to be compatible with. The component of system list is tested to be in scope. All hardware, software, and middleware that is irrelevant for your project and won't be tested for compatibility with your product are out of scope. To determine scope, you must dash. Precise customer requirement. Project budget. Product specification. Skills and talent of your test team. Second. A testing type is a standard test procedure that gives an expected test outcome. Each testing type is formulated to identify a specific type of product bugs. But all testing types are aimed at achieving one common goal early detection of all the defects before releasing the product to the customer. 
Unit Test Test the smallest piece of verifiable software in the application. API Testing Test the APIs created for the application. Integration Testing Individual software modules are combined and tested as group. System test Conducted on a complete, integrated system to evaluate the system's compliance with its specified requirements. Install slash uninstall testing Focuses on what customers will need to do to install slash uninstall and set up slash remove the new software successfully. Agile testing Testing the system using Agile methodology. Step 3 Define test objects. A test object is an object that Quick Test creates in the test to represent the actual object in your application. There are two steps to define test objectives. All the software features which may need to test. Define the target or the goal of the test based on above features. Test objective is the overall goal and achievement of the test execution. The objective of the testing is finding as many software defects as possible, ensure that the software under test is bug free before release. Step 4 Define test environment The testing environment is the software and hardware on which the testing team will execute test cases. It is important to define this environment to make sure that your product can meet the needs of your end users. Step 5 Define Determine Deliverable A deliverable is a product or outcome that is given to the client. A deliverable can be a software product, a design document, or any other asset that is required. Test deliverables are the artifacts which means things that are produced by people involved in the process and are given to the stakeholders. Some deliverables are provided before testing phase, some during the testing phase and rest after the testing cycle. Step 6 Schedule an estimate Test estimation is a management activity which approximates how long a task would take to complete. Estimating effort for the test is one of the major and important tasks in test management. During the estimation stage, the QA team divides the whole testing process into subtasks to understand how much time it will take to test each separate feature. Step 7 Define test criteria. Suspension criteria. Test criteria is a standard or rule on which a test procedure or test judgment can be based. Exit criteria. Exit criteria describe conditions under which tests are considered successful and tested piece of functionality can be forwarded to another stage. Step 8 Resource Planning Resource planning is a process of allocating tasks to human and non-human resources so that they are maximized for efficiency. Resource planning helps project managers manage resource utilization and track resource capacity to keep projects on budget. That is all about creating test planning. Who prepared effective test plan? Test lead prepares test plan testers involved in the process of preparing test plan documents. 
Once test plan is well prepared, then the testers write test scenarios and test case based on test plan documents. Here is section of test plan template. Let us understand all section in detail. Test plan identifier Test plan identifier is a unique number to identify the test plan. Example Project name underscore 0001 References This section is to specify all the list of documents that support the test plan which you are currently creating. Example SRS System Requirement Specification, Use Case Documents, Test Strategy, Project Plan, Project Guidelines etc. Introduction Introduction or summary includes the purpose and scope of the project. Example The objective of this document is to test the functionality of the project name. Test items A list of test items which will be tested. Example Testing should be done on both front-end and back-end of the application on the Windows-slash-Linux environments. Features to be tested In this section, we list out all the features that will be tested within the project. Example The features which are to be tested are Login Page, Dashboard, Reports. Features not to be tested In this section, we list out the features which are not included in the project. Example Payment using PayPal features is above to remove from the application. There is no need to test this feature. Approach the overall strategy of how testing will be performed. It contains details such as methodology, test types, test techniques etc. Example We follow Agile methodology in this project. Pass-slash-fail criteria In this section, we specify the criteria that will be used to determine pass or fail percentage of test items. Example All the major functionality of the application should work as intended and the pass percentage of test cases should be more than 95% and there should not be any critical bugs. Suspension criteria in this section, we specify when to stop the testing. Example If any of the major functionalities are not functional or system experiences login issues then testing should suspend. Test deliverables List of documents need to be delivered at each phase of testing life cycle. The list of all test artifacts. Examples Test cases, bug report. Testing tasks In this section, we specify the list of testing tasks we need to complete in the current project. Example Test environment should be ready prior to test execution phase. Test summary report needs to be prepared.
Environmental needs List of hardware, software and any other tools that are needed for a test environment. Responsibilities We specify the list of roles and responsibilities of each test tasks. Example Test plan should be prepared by test lead. Preparation and execution of tests should be carried out by testers. Staffing and training needs Plan training course to improve the skills of resources in the project to achieve the desired goals. Schedule Complete details on when to start, finish and how much time each task should take place. Example Perform test execution, 120 man-hours, test reporting, 30 man-hours. Risks and contingencies In this section we specify the probability of risks and contingencies to overcome those risks. Example Risk, in case of a wrong budget estimation, the cost may overrun. Contingency plan, establish the scope before beginning the testing tasks and pay attention in the project planning and track the budget estimates constantly. Approvals who should sign off and approve the testing project? Example Project managers should agree on completion of the project and determine the steps to proceed further. Download the sample test plan document. Link is under the YouTube description. Thank you for watching this video. We provide hands-on computer training with labs slash homework slash group projects, prepare you for the certification, provide real projects, internship opportunities, support you in resume slash LinkedIn, staffing support, provide tech. References, in person, online class, class retake options, and many more. Call us at 847-350-9034 for your free career consultation meeting. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our video to get the notification of our latest video.